Yeah, Jonathan's here. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We can get started. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Nice quick intro there. Only about Jonathan was ready. I told him five o'clock and here we are five o'clock. Boom, right on the dot. This is probably the most on time I've ever been. Right? Hey, Matt, how's it going? I got the Theros bundles finally. Picked them up on uh, Friday, and uh, you know here here we are. Um, this was the first time that worked for Jonathan uh, and myself, so that's why we're doing it now. Um, these this is his bundle for the month of January. Normally, I would have opened this up quite a bit earlier in January for him, uh, due to the fact that you know. Normally you get it at the beginning of the month, but but uh, Jonathan said to wait for Theros to come out because it comes out this month, um, and since it only came out this weekend, it's kind of near the end of the month. Maybe we should have done something different. I don't know, Jonathan. I hope you're okay waiting on these still. Um, what do you think? Do you want me to send these to you now, or do you want me to send them to you with next month as well, since that's only, what, a, about a week away? <laughs> like another seven days what do you prefer it doesn't matter to me you've paid for the shipping of this already so i mean like i can ship this out and then still ship out the other next month it's not a big deal so just let me know what you want to do um but yeah we're, we're close together so you'll get two packages next month is fine okay that's fine then i'll just i'll i'll keep it all together and next month do you want another theros bundle is that what you want or i do have other bundles now right like i bought i've picked up a whole bunch of bundles um, and by that, I mean like whenever I go somewhere and I find a bundle for under the price, what I charge for the bundles, I just buy it. Um, so that way I have a stock of things so I can send you an updated list of what I have available. I think, you know, most of the stuff, the only things that have been added is fate reforged dragon's maze. And then probably Amon Ket is the oldest next to those. So, I mean, fate reforged and dragon maze only have nine boosters, to, to keep it in perspective, right? And then I have all the others, right? I have Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiances, Corset 2019, Corset 2020, uh, War of the Spark, um, uh, Throne of Eldraine, um, and then now Theros. Anyway, let's get into this bundle for you, and you can decide. that You don't have to pick now, but you can decide over the next little while and let me know. So there we are. How are you doing, Matt and Jonathan? I hope you're both doing well. Hope your Saturday's treating you good. Theros again is fine? Okay, sweet. So let's get this bad guy, bad boy out of here. I really miss the book. I miss the book. I miss the nice, you know... 40 page pamphlet book that has all the colorful neat stuff in it wow this is that's a weird color that is a really weird color this can the camera doesn't do this justice it's super strange like it's like a teal color yeah i i'm on the same page as you jonathan i i talk about it in so one of the videos i recorded today i talk about it a bunch which is interesting so here's your land pack right that's non-foil and then here's your foil pack which comes with your promo card and your lands right it's really also kind of like disastrous that they've put it so you can't actually see the lands in here. But they're actually... Are you okay if I open this up or do you want it sealed? You Are you okay if I open this up to show it off or do you want it sealed still? You tell me. But yeah, like, you don't care about this. This is just basic lands, right? But the thing that's interesting, right, is that in the booster packs, right, in the booster packs and in the collector's booster packs, you can get these lands... Or, sorry, sorry. in the booster packs, you can't get these at all. In the collector's booster packs, you can get these in foil in the common slots. 
So the only way to get these lands, these lands, the not full art lands from Theros in foil is to buy a bundle or to buy uh, collector's boosters and open them in the slots. This is the only way, this is the only way, surefire way, to make sure you get foil lands that are like this. Which is interesting, because, now, hear me out, everybody loves full art, borderless, blah blah blah, right? There are people out there that actually don't like the Theros lands, the big mystical thing. Those people, in a few years might come back and be like, wait a minute, Theros had lands that didn't have that full art stuff? I want those lands. Wait, they come in foil? Well, how do I get the foil versions of them? Or how do I get the non-foil versions of them? The only place I've seen them is in this. And I mean, you probably get them in... Do you get the basic these basic lands in the... Uh, in the, uh, like, the, the Planeswalker deck and stuff like that? Is that also where you get this? Where the, what is... Why won't this open? Open, damn you! Okay, let's show off what these are and see what they look like. Because this is going to be your, your... This is your promo right there. Pretty sweet looking promo. And then, yeah, there's your foil lands. They look sweet. Like, I mean, this art is phenomenal on this planes. I really like the streaks in the sky. I don't know if you can see those. Is there only two? Oh, wow. There's only two arts for each land. Wow. All right. That's really cool looking island. Oh, wow. That's super neat in foil. I don't know what it is for me, but it's like the waterfalls or like the streams of light when they have like the foiling. They look phenomenal. I mean, these are gorgeous. They're not full art, but they are gorgeous. Hey, Bob. Hey, Calvin. How's it going? Huh. The swamps kind of like... They look okay. This one looks... I think I like this one better than these two. This one. But they're not as good as the plains and the islands so far. Mountains. Oh, there you go. Another one with chains. That's really cool. I don't know, that even just the chains, it's like an interesting idea, like chaining the gods down, right, to the earth. I'm assuming that's what this is all about, or chaining the, the planet together so that it doesn't, like, float away. Oh, that's really cool, too, the pillars. That's pretty neat. You wish, yeah, see, you wish that they did use these lands as the full arts. See, and that's the thing, is like a lot of people out there are like, you know, the full art ones are nice and everything, but they're not lands, right? And yeah, they look all mystical, but they kind of look like Pokemon energy, right? But there are people out there that are like, I like Pokemon energy. And I mean, like, to be honest, I actually like the, the, uh, the uh, you know, aesthetics of the new lands. Like, I kind of, I kind of like these, right? Like these ones. They look really cool. And yeah, I get it. They're not a landmass, but the idea is that they're kind of like a constellation with like the like almost like it's a nebula in space. Do you know what I mean? Like like almost like it's a uh, it's its own galaxy or something. Like that's what it looks to to me like what they were trying to go for and it and they pulled it off in my opinion. It looks super rad. Like I really like these. I really like the look of them. You got two bundles in your pre-order for the full art lands. Before you found out they were different? Yeah, that's the problem, uh, No Name Senior. A lot of people are complaining about that, right? Is that, you know, they thought that the that the lands were all going to be those, the full arts. And then why, like, they, but they made these basic lands. But then other people are like, well, I wish that they had used these as the full arts because you already made the art, right? The forest one is just okay. I mean, yeah, sure. But I mean, that's 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 it for everybody, right? Jonathan is like everyone's gonna have a differing opinion of what they like and what they don't like when it comes to that kind of stuff, and that's okay, right? Everyone's allowed to have different opinions on that kind of stuff. And then here you've got, oh look, you can get reminder if a planeswalker has no loyalty counters left on it, you have to put it in the graveyard. 
attacking and blocking. Junk. It's junk, I say. But look at this. Here's the... This is the meat and potatoes right here. These ten packs. So, Jonathan, I assume you're in the same boat as normal. You just want the... The... The rares, mythics... Uh, uncommons. Is that the plan? And then the basic lands as well? Right? You want the... You want the full art lands, I assume. Yeah? But you don't care about any of the commons? Yeah. <sighs> They're really missing out. They're really missing out on not putting a code in the bundles, to be completely honest. Revoke existence, nice. I think I talk about this in my latest video, and I thought that they had bumped this to, un to uncommon, but it is actually a common still, so... Correction in that video, I'll have to go correct that. <laughs> I don't know where that is, but I'll have to go correct it. I don't remember which video it was I mentioned it in, so I'm going to have to go watch through all those videos and find it and put a little correction up on the video so people don't eat eat me alive on the internet. Fateful End, Shimmerwing Chimera, Citizen per Petitioner, and Eidolon of Obstruction, the little 2-1 First Striker, which makes your loyalty abilities cost more. I assume you don't care about the tokens either, Jonathan. Actually, what I want to do is, where is that? I had a pile here. I'm curious. What's the card quality like? So, the the bundles, again, this is the same thing as what they had with the throne one. The cards are different quality, right? You can even see. So, like, this is one from your bundle, and this is one from, from a box that I opened, or some, like, loose packs that I opened, right? And you can just tell, I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not, but in person you can definitely see it. The text on this card is bolder, like it's a thicker line, right? And it's darker. Like, look at how dark it is compared, right? I know it's not the same card, right? But even just like the border, right, is quite a bit darker as well. Huh. It's definitely different. Um, so that's kind of interesting. It'll be interesting to see, like, I don't know if I have that card here. Ah, there, look, I have that exact card right here. There, we can compare the two. Right? So you can see right away how much darker it is in the bundle version. Right? The one on the right is is quite a bit darker than the one on the left. Now, this is a common thing that they've had happen in the past, but even the card stock... Like, the card stock feels different in hand. This card feels lighter. The one from the regular pack feels lighter and flimsier. This one feels more rigid and, like, a thicker card stock. Yeah. Yeah, even with switching hands, it feels like it. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, you would think that in a game like this where they, like, are, like, absolutely always, like, being... Being like, the cards can't be marked in any way, they, you know, like, if you're playing in a tournament, you know, you can't, you can't be cheating in any way, so no card markings, no nothing. You'd think they would work a lot harder on making sure that both of their uh, printing studios or, you know, uh, distribution studios have the same, right? Uh, have the same, like, process and paper and all of that, whatnot. It's crazy. The back is darker too, yeah. But this is what I mean. Like it's 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 interesting. Alrios enraptured, agonizing remorse. Just finished work. All right. I haven't had a chance to look at your video yet. Pause. I I I have a I have a very busy schedule these days. Thassa's Oracle is a nice one. I actually haven't been watching like anything to be honest with you. It's not even just you. It's everybody. I, I normally try to catch, like, most of, like, Loading Ready Run stuff and, and things like that, and I haven't been able to watch, like, any of their content lately. Um, for those of you who don't know, my father is in the hospital, um, so if there's interruptions to my regularly scheduled videos and stuff uh, over the next few weeks, months, that would be why. So, dealing with that at the moment. 
in entrancing leer or liar. I think it's a leer, right? It's a leer. Devourer of memory. Archon of falling stars. And allure of the unknown. Ooh, foil. Ooh. That's a nice foil. This is the uh, legendary that a lot of people have been building around in Commander. So that's really cool to get a foil of that. That's nice. It's a nice one. Yeah. I mean, they like he went back. So he he went in for surgery two weeks ago, and then they let him out like the day after surgery. And he went home, and he was home for a week, and then he, some complications occurred, and he had to go back in this past Thursday. And um, so he's been in since Thursday morning, and uh, he was hoping that he would get out yesterday. And they told him, "No, we got to keep you till Saturday." Then today, he was hoping that they let him out today, and they told him this morning, no, you're probably here for another three or four days. So, like, he now knows that he's not getting out anytime soon. Um, so, it's really, it sucks for him. And it sucks for my mom, because my mom relies on him pretty heavily. Um, so, and I'm an only child, so, uh, you know, when my dad's not around to help my mom, I have to help my mom. And when then my, when my dad needs help, I need to help him because, you know, he can't do that stuff anymore. So, uh, it's going to get busy over here on my side. It's going to get busy over here on my side. Hey, Corbin, how's it going? Heroes of the Revel, Farika's Spawn, Nyx Herald, and Temple of Abandon. Abandoned hope, all ye who temple here. I think that's how it goes, right? I think that's how it goes. What the heck is this? Come find us on YouTube. How do I get my ad on there? In every booster pack. Hey, Magic, how about that? They've just released this content creator support thing. Right? Where they're like planning to work with content creators and stuff. This right here. This. See this ad that you put here that says come find us on YouTube? You should list a bunch of content creators that make Magic the Gathering content. And just have their links. And like maybe their icon. That would be really cool of you. That'd be such an easy way for you to support uh, content creators for your game. Without having to basically spend any more money. Because you're already putting the ad here anyway. There you go. Wizards. Boom. Got there. Madomize. Prophecy. Whoop, what am I doing? Put that in the comment pile. Is Grey Merchant short, uh, short printed? Uh, it's, a, it's an uncommon. Um, and as Tony says there, it's a mythic <laughs> uncommon. So you only see a few. Uh, like I think my last box, I only opened one. So, Destiny Spinner, Banishing Light, and Eat to Extinction. Ooh, Foil. Foil Arena Trickster. There you go. A nice planes there for you. All right. And Jonathan, um, are there specific lands that you want out of these full arts? Like, do you, do you want me to trade some of these out for other ones I've opened so that you get all the ones you're looking for? Like, because I don't mind... Trading some out if you if you're looking for specific colors, just let me know. Since you only get ten in the bundle. Underworld fires, Ranata, called to the hunt, commanding presence and, ooh, well then, I hope you're playing big, big, big red, Jonathan. I hope you're playing big red because look at that, big. Uh, Celestial Boy, right there. Perforos in the, uh, what is it, the, whatever you call it, nonsense. Not really looking for anything specific? Okay. Warden of the Chained Wall. I just meant, like, if there's, like, specific colors that you want for, to, to get your decks done up. <laughs> I hope you're playing it. I can. There you go, well... Perforos in the uh, nice uh, 
what do they call it? The showcase? Showcase border? Yeah. Constellation border? Hey, Rick, how's it going? Entrancing Leer again. So, like, look at this. You've gotten two Entrancing Leers, two Farika's spawns, but you haven't got a Gary. It's kind of interesting. Slaughter Priest of Mogus and Temple of Enlightenment. All right. Double Temple. Double Temple. The gods are going down in price. Stupid collector's packs. Well, I mean, like, that's just how it's going to be. Sweet Oblivion. Don Evangel. Calafi. Or Calaf. Calafe. Ooh, a Shadow Spear. It's nice. Solid card. Shadow Spear is great. Don't forget that you can totally activate it. Uh, even if it's not equipped. So you can totally remove Hexproof and Indestructible from things. Even if it's not equipped. Which is really nice. Coming back from a funeral. Sorry to hear that, Tony. My condolences to you and your family. It's never easy, man. The Triumph of Anax. Sweet Oblivion again. The Birth of Miletus. And Bronze Hide Lion. With a mountain and a junk card. Good old junk cards. Am I doing shenanigans again? Never. Rena uh, Renovatio. Never. 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 I mean, but always. Never and always. Shenanigans are best had when they are in a state of unknowing. Your internet's being crap. Uh-oh. Well, we're almost done here. Last pack. I suspect it as such. Thundering Chariot. Hey, there it is. There you go. There's your Gary. Gary showed up. What up, Gary? Nothing. Rise to glory. And... Storm Herald. All right. Well, only one mythic out of this bundle. It's kind of a little bit of a letdown. Um, only three foils too. That seems a little bit low for a bundle. You got two temples, which is not bad. Shadow Spear is really good. Um, Thassa's Oracle is a nice pull as well. <laughs> yes, that thing. Damn Gary. Ha ha, Gary. Also, this die, if anyone, if none of you have seen this up close and personal, I suggest you find someone or buy a bundle and take a look at this because this die, like the camera doesn't do it justice. It's this weird kind of like marbled teal color. It's, v it's very weird to look at. Like I don't, it's almost like a, it's like a seafoam green color. I don't know. Like it's, it's just, it's weird. It's a weird choice. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't seem to fit. It doesn't seem to fit with the Theros theme. I don't know, like... Like, the Throne of Eldraine was... was purple... and gold. I, I guess the Theros, like, this... This thing is kind of what they were going for, but, like, they didn't quite... It's not quite the same color. Like, it's... It's weird. <laughs> yeah. They, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What was the thing that I saw? There was a uh, camera. Camera, why? Don't do this to me. Come back. Baby, come back. I needed you to be on. You're the camera. And people can't see without you. But, um... No, what was that? What did I see? There was some, like, piece of paper that someone put up on Twitter that was, like, go to, like, mtgstory.com or something like that and figure out how Elspeth is trying to get out of the underworld or, like, you know, follow along in Elspeth's journey to claw her way from the underworld or something like that. And I was... And everyone was like, uh, what? Excuse me? Is this a thing? What is going on? Please don't sing, Steve. You know, Rick, I will never not sing. It's always a thing. I thought maybe a green and yellow or something. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, I mean, like, green, like, just a solid green color with yellow 
uh, lettering would have been like I think more on brand for Theros, to be honest. I would gladly exactly like I think a lot of people would uh, run a video run a ratio, like I I think that's a thing that a lot of people would would love to do, is is read the story. I'm assuming you don't care about these, Jonathan. The uh, this thing here, uh, just the basic lands that are not foil. <laughs> I mean, that's a little bit of an understatement, I think, right? Like, people got really, really upset with that. Um, with that, that book that came out at the end of War of the Spark. So let's get these all in here like this. So, I mean, overall, not a bad little bundle. Could have been a little bit better, but hey, you know. That should all fit in there like that. And then, like, we fit this. So it's the best way that I've figured out the count now. One, two. Three, four. Okay, perfect. So that should be fine. I can fit about 36 cards in one bag um, and still have it fit in the mail properly. So there you go. All right, well, that was your bundle, Jonathan. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Thank you for letting me open your product for you. And, man, you should have me write this story. That would be a terrible idea. Your story would be like, and then Elspeth was not dead anymore. How did this happen? You should ask Ashiok. I guess. Something went horribly wrong, I guess. And Ashiok was there to witness. That's why you need to talk to her. Right? Simply invention. There's supposed to be a story for Ikora. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's supposed to be there. I don't know what exactly it's going to be, but we'll see. That there like that. All right, everybody. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I know what we have. Who's here in chat? Who's here in chat? Speak now or, or forever hold your peace. Corbin? Uh, Bob? Renovatio? No name? Uh, Wolf? Uh, Rick? Pause? Uh, Jonathan? Uh, Eric? And Rick, I've already got. Anybody else? Did I miss anyone? Speak up or forever hold your peace. So what's that give us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, Bro Conky is here. Showing up just in time. Okay, so it gives us 10. 10 fine folks. In time for the games, bro Conky. In time for the games. You're here in time for the games. That's all that matters.
Okay. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Okay. As long as you're okay with giving me your mailing address, if you're not a patron, which some of you, you know, I don't, some of you are not patrons, but you're just here watching, which I appreciate. Thank you for being here. Uh, as long as you're okay with giving me your mailing address, you will be mailed a card. All of you who I have here, all 10 of you are going to get something. Okay. So I'm going to open up both of these. Okay. I'm going to lay them out face down on top of other cards that are here. I have no idea who's where. Okay, so I'm just going to lay them out in order, face down. Okay, so there's only going to be six because each of these packs has a promo code in them. And I'm not going to give those away because that's just weird and silly. Um, I'm not going to include those. So we need something else to give away to the other four people because it's only six cards. Okay, so what we're going to give away is just some full art lands. Okay, and whoever gets the full art lands... We'll get their choice of two. Two full art lands. Okay? So you get whatever ones whatever ones you want. Islands, swamps, plains, whatever. I have lots. So uh, don't feel like you have to pick from what's available here in this pile. I can dig out more if I need to. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. All right. Let me see if I can... Okay, let's... I'm trying to make it so that I don't reveal these cards to me or anyone else. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I have no idea what's in here. Okay. And that's the code. Did I get it away quick enough without anyone seeing it? Okay, good. Okay. So I'm just going to... Oh, you know what? I'm going to open both and shuffle them together. How about that? That sounds like a plan. These are courtesy of my LGS. They gave them to me. To give away to uh, you fine folks out there. So then let's, uh, I'm just going to take the code off the bottom there. And there we go. Okay. Okay. Eric always wants whales, I know. I got to add more whales to the patron box so that he can get more. Or I got to go through the patron box and take them all out so that I can just give them to Eric. And give him like one month, give him like a Aether Tide whale grab bag. Where it's just every card that he gets from every pull of the pile is just an Aether Tide Whale. Okay. Okay. So that's what we're doing. So you four folks here, let's figure out who gets lands. Okay, Bro Conky. You're here in chat. Even though I am at the moment. Bro Conky, what lands do you want? Islands? Forests? Plains? Swamps? Mountains? Foil? No, I don't have any foil lands to give away at the moment. Islands? Both? Two? Sure. Okay. Who's next? Mr. Wolf. Tony Wolf, you're here, man. What do you want? I appreciate it, Pause. I mentioned it to you. You don't need to. Swamp, but do you want both swamps or do you want swamp and something else? You get two. So do you want two swamps? Two swamps? Who's next? Eric. Which ones do you want? Pick any color. It doesn't have to be what's here. I don't have any islands here, but I've got a whole box. Just tell me what you want which ones you want. Islands for whales? Okay. Okay. Who's next? Rick. Rick, my man. What do you want?
I mean, Eric's not wrong. You need blue to cast those whales. Need blue to cast those whales. All right, Rick, what do you want? Do you want both mountains? Do you want two? Two mountains? Hope that's okay with you. Okay, well, let, you can let me know, Rick. And in the meantime, let's see what everyone else got. So, Jonathan, congratulations. You're walking away with? Ha <laughs> ha! How about that? Look at that. Isn't that fitting for you? There's your sweet gray merchant with, like, the alternate border. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty awesome. There you go, man. Congratulations. Sweet. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Jonathan was asking about the Grey Merchant earlier. He was like, yo, how, how is Gary? Is Gary, like, you know, mythic? Mythic uncommon? And the answer is yes. Corbin! Congratulations, Corbin. You were walking away with a Tamio! From War of the Spark. Stamped. Very nice. That's pretty sweet. Nice little stamped Tamio right there. Cool. Cool. No name. Senor. Is it no name Senor or no name Senior? This is the question I ask you. And I don't know how you're going to convey it to me in chat. <laughs> Because when you type it out, it will still be the same word. The first one. Okay, perfect. All right, well, congratulations. You are getting an Eat to Extinction with a stamp on it. So there you go. Nice little stamp right in the corner there in case you can't see it. So you just have to give me your uh, mailing address. I'll put it up at the end here for everybody. My email... Uh, I'll put up at the end here, and then you can just email me there uh, with your mailing address, okay? Renovatio, you're walking away with... Ooh, a Soren from M20. This is one of my favorite Planeswalkers. I love this guy. This card is sweet. This is absolutely amazing. That art is actually kind of creepy. It's very creepy. Yeah, the E2 Extinction is very creepy. Yeah, I have your mailing address already, uh, Corbin. Holy Hera. That's right. Sweet stamped Soren. And Soren is sweet. I love Soren. I play Soren in Brawl. The only Brawl deck that I've built myself from the ground up. Boom. Soren. Right there. That Soren. It's my favorite. It's my favorite Soren. Bob Jones. Bob. Bob Jones, I know you don't play Magic too very much, but you guess what? You're getting a Magic card. You're getting a stamped Grave Breaker Lamia. You can do with it as you wish, Bob. If you want to put it into my patron pile or something, it's up to you. But, you know, you're here, so your name went into the list. And last, but certainly not least, we got Paws. Paws, you're going to walk away with some, like, alt art card here. Because I think we've hit all the rares. I don't know what this will be, but let's find out. Ooh, an Alisade of Life's Bounty. This is seeing a lot of play in Standard right now, mainly because it's a 1-1 one, one for 1 with Lifelink that has an ability to sacrifice it and give another creature pro. This is seeing play in the new Standard Boggles deck, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It's very good. It's a very good card. So that's pretty sweet. We hit some really good stuff out of those two packs, didn't we? We sure did. I just, this was just a sort of a thank you for being here, everyone, and watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your newfound cards. Let me put up the, um, the thingy mabob. Where is that? Uh, this one. So, what you have to do is if I don't have your, uh, mailing address or whatever, just, uh, shoot me an email right there, nerdvanastorecanada at gmail.com. In fact, I think I can paste it in here do i have it boom 
You can just email me right there, like that. Ha ha. See? Prepared. This man prepared for once. It doesn't happen at all, ever. And it's just a fluke when it does. Anyway, uh, the point is, just shoot me an email right there, um, and I will get those cards mailed out to you. Um, it'll probably be later this weekend. Um... Yeah, so for those of you who are patrons, you don't need to email me uh, your uh, your mailing address or anything, and I'll just put the cards in with your patron pool for next month as long as you're okay with that. Um, I hope that's fine with you, because if so, if not, then that's fine. I'll just mail it to you, no big deal. But I would like to save a little bit of money since I'm mailing something out to you in about two weeks, a week and a half-ish, and I'd rather just slip it in with that and mail it out so that way it's all together. Um, rather than sending out multiple things in the mail. Not because it costs me more, but just because i got to go to the post office more than a few times then. <laughs> Mr. B prepared now. That's a good one. It sure is, Jonathan. It sure is. Prepared is for people who like to take their time and write scripts and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like people who actually make solid, good content like The Professor and Lone and Ready Run and, you know all those other fine people out there that make all that great content. They actually script things and prepare stuff and do research. And here I am just flying by the seat of my pants. The boys, the boy scout marching song. Listen, I was a boy scout. Be prepared is literally the motto of a boy scout. And, uh, you know, I guess it didn't stick around. <laughs> it didn't stick around. All right. I've got some codes here. I've got some codes here. Flying on whales. That's right, Eric. That's right. Flying on whales. Do you want me to write whale a whale of a time on your islands here, Eric? Is that what you want me to do? I can do that for you. Or I can write on the planes that already has your name on it and say, This is an island signed Mr. B. And then that way you can tell your you can put it into your deck and use it as a blue mana and tell all your friends it's a blue mana because I said so. Is that what you want? I can do that for you too if you want. Did I pull a Domri stained glass? No, I did not. But I haven't opened all my kits yet. Um, hey, you know what? Do you want to? Do you want me to open them right now? Do you guys want to see me open that now? I can open that stuff right now. That's a thing I could do. That's a thing I could do. I've got three more of those secret layers to open up. I can just open them now. It's not a big deal. I'm going to put the cards into these bags so that they stay by themselves. <laughs> well, I'm sending you one. Well, f fine then, I guess. There's Bob. Bob, you said you wanted me to put mine into the patron stuff, right? Okay. I will do so. Eric gets those right there. Tony gets these right here. Eh. I bought these bags and they're bigger than the bags I normally use and it's throwing me off like crazy cuz they're like they're like longer. I don't know how, like, yeah, like, it's just, they're a little bit taller, so, like, you can actually put, like, the, um, the top loaders in them and still seal them up, which is nice, except that I'm not top loading any of these things, so, like, it's, it just gets in my way, you know? Takes up more space. Eh. Shove. There we go. Alright. Put those off to the side. Okay, I've got these all now. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom. Like so. Let's put these over here with the rest of that stuff. I can go through that later and make sure everyone gets their things. All right. All right. Okay, so we've got secret layers. We've got three secret layers left open. We've got Kaleidoscope Killers, OMG Kitties, and Explosion Sounds. 
So, let's just start. Why? Why have you forsaken me, pull tab? <laughs> Curses! Fine. I didn't want to get into the box easily anyway. Whatever. Curse you, box. My boy's a box! Damn you, a box! You're actually mad that you missed the Kaleidoscope Killers one? Yeah. I That's why I just bought the bundle. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy the bundle, and that way I get all of them, and I don't have to worry about it. Alright, let's see. This is the Goblin one, right? You guys aren't here for these cards, but I want to look at them. Goblin Bushwhacker? Oh, with the kicker. Okay, cool. That's a really cool art on it, actually. I really like that art. Oh, it's... Oh, it, okay, it's... Oh, is it all done by the same guy? That's really rad, if that's the case. And is this all, like, one scene? That would be cool, too. Goblin Sharpshooter? Nice. Goblin King? <laughs> Man. What a ridiculous card. It looks ridiculous. Goblin Lackey? And Goblin Pile Driver. Ah, my favorite goblin. The Goblin Pile Driver. It's probably my favorite goblin. I will keep it, right? Oh, you, you mean the walker that you're going to send me? Of course I'll keep it, pause. It will go right into my collection. Because I'm trying to get one of each of them. So as long as I don't open one here... Which I doubt is the case, but let's see. There's an Angrath. So we got a sweet Angrath uh, stained glass. Nice. Yeah, he got it in the Kaleidoscope Killers one. Uh, Bro Conky. That's the one that has Reaper King in it. Alright, so there is Explosion Sounds. Done, out of the way. Angrath is our sweet stained glass walker. I'm going to leave it in its little package, but I'm going to try to take this glue off the front without damaging the card. Holy moly. There we go. Eh. Alright, what's next? OMG Kitties. This is the one that I was looking forward to the most, OMG Kitties, just because the art on the cards looked amazing. Almost got there. Look at that. Almost. Almost got there. It's a sad day when you can't pull a pull tab like, brick and just have it go. You have to like, like, slowly do it. We all know that Bolas always just is like, never here. Bolas doesn't like me. He doesn't hang out in my crowd. You bet the walkie a Johnny for kitties? Um, from what I heard about that is that every OMG kitties had a Johnny in it. Every single one. So, I'm guessing that you're probably right, uh, bro Conky. Holy moly, let's... Can you... Can you come off? There we go. Hey look, it's a Johnny! What a surprise! It's sweet. Johnny is sweet looking in the stained glass, so I don't I don't mind. And I didn't get a second of Johnny out of one of the other boxes at the at this moment in time, so that's cool. It was the big complaint that a lot of people were talking about is that like they were getting duplicate um, uh, walkers and stuff out of the stained glass because the, the OMG Kitty one always came with a Johnny, and you could still pull a Johnny in others. But if people ordered all of them, right, then why, then why, uh, why put a Johnny always in the OMG Kitty and then also allow it to be in the other ones? What was the point of that, right? If it was always going to be in the Kitty one, just make it always in the Kitty one, right? Yeah. You pull the foil brazen borrower out of the one L drain pack that was in your, 
in your toolkit. That's pretty sweet, Rick. Nice. Leonin Warleader. This card looks hilarious. I'm so stoked about this because the cats are just hilarious looking. Like, because this is the 4-4 that when you tap it, it makes other 1-1 cats that swing. And, like, just look at the derpy faces on these cats in, the in like, the background. Like, the war leader's the one with the, with the knife and stuff. But, like, look at those cats in the background. They just look like a pile of idiots. Look at them. Like, one's playing with a butterfly. The other one looks like it's pouncing. One looks like it's pouncing properly, and the other one's, like, got cross eyes, and it's like, whoa. Hilarious. The Caracal, which always just looks super pissed off. Hilarious. The art is phenomenally done on these cards. Phenomenally done on these cards. Ooh, I haven't seen this one. That's really pretty, actually. Huh. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, this one looks really nice, too. It's so majestic. Ah, yes. And here we are, back with the wide eyes. Miri, Weatherlight Duelist. And then I think we get cat tokens? Yeah. Please tell me. Oh, man, I was really hoping that you would get the derpy cat token, too. I want, I want, I want this cat to be the other cat. With its eyes that are all, like, crossed. The, this one. I want this cat token to be that cat. That's what I want. That's what I want. But it doesn't... It's not there. You're happy you pulled Mr. T from Killer's Lair? It's Mr. B leading his patrons into battle. I mean, I mean, I guess, maybe. I feel like if it was me leading you into battle, it'd be like, you know, a few of you, like, would be the ones that are actually all on the ball and, like, uh, with the, with the knife in your mouth and stuff ready for, ready to fight, and I'd be the one with the cross eyes being all derpy. That's most likely what would happen. <laughs> All right, sounds good. No worries. Don't worry about it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being here. Congratulations on the Soren. And uh, have a good day at work, dude. All right. This is it. This is the big one. This is the big one. All right. There's our Reaper King right up front. Why is this stuck? Why are you... Why? I don't know why it was stuck on this. But it was. Alright. This one in the bottom of here. Now this is the one. Do we save it to the end? You get to go. You get to go teach little kids tennis. So here's hoping that they stop hitting you today. Fair. That's fair. I mean, that seems like a that seems like a, a logical thing to ask for. Renovatio. Okay. Come out of there. Yeah. Nice. There we go. This looks absolutely gorgeous as well. The Reaper King. And this this is what I wanted. This right here. Cause I don't own a Sliver Overlord. And but I do have a Sliver's EDH deck. And it doesn't have the Overlord in it because it's too friggin' expensive. <laughs> um So that's why I was like, yeah. And then the Ur Dragon, there it is. A ten ten with eminence. My goodness. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Alright. I'm gonna look at it. Without showing you. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna look at it without showing you. What is it? Oh, there it is. Domri. Well, no bolus for us, which doesn't surprise me. <laughs> and there you go. Uh, pause. So I do have a Domri. So you don't have to send yours over. Um, I do have one. If you do want to send it, that's fine. Um, 
I don't need to keep both. I only need to keep one. I'm not planning on keeping both. Um, I do have two Ashioks. Um, because I opened those up separately as well. Um, and in fact, did I put them in here? Is this where I put them? I don't know. I think this is where I put them. Yeah. So this is where I've been putting them for now. I'll show you guys this. I think I should be okay to lean that there. So I've got Ashiok here. Not that you could see it because of all the glare and what have you, but there she is in all her glory. And then Ashiok here, and then the Wanderer, and then Soren. So now I have I have Domri, Ajani, and Angrath, which is nice. So I got a bunch of the ones that I needed. It's okay, pause. It's okay. Well, that's why I said let me open them now because I hadn't opened them yet. So I was like, let me open them now, and then that way you'll know whether I have one or not. Because I didn't know when I was going to get around to opening these, and I didn't want you to send me one and then me open it, like, you know, the next week or whatever, and then be like, whoops. Sorry, pause. I didn't know. I didn't know. So anyway, these go in here like this for now. I probably end up putting these into my uh, War of the Spark binder. Uh, just at the back of it is probably where I'll end up putting them. But for now, this is just kind of like my high-end foil book. Um, so, uh, there's too much glare, so you guys can't really see too much, but, like, um, this is, like, my toppers, so there's Liliana, Tarmogoyf, Mana Vault, Caracas, uh, Sigarda, Creeping Tar Pit, Kitchen Finks, Gorio's Vengeance, Lava Claw Reaches, and these are all foils, so this is Foil Wrath of Gods, Foil Ghostly Prison, You'll Say the Morning Star, Steel Shaper, Path, Iona, which is, she's come down quite a bit in price now, uh, due to the banning. Uh, Sarah's atten uh, Ascendant, uh, Thalia, Enduring Ideal, Enlightening Tutor, um, Leylines, Linvala, Stony Silence, Mother of Runes, Rest in Peace. This side you've got Foil, As Foretold, Brainstorm, Chain of Vapors, Cyclonic Rift. These are all Foil as well, just so we're clear. Um, Dead Eye Navigator, Devil of Secrets, Force of Will, uh, Intruder Alarm, Ginger Taxis, Key, uh, Kira, great glass spinner. Mental misstep, misdirection. A um, couple mystical tutors. Vendillion click. You know, good stuff. Good stuff. It's tough, Jonathan. It's tough. This is the buy a box promo for surgical extraction, and then there's a foil surgical extraction beside it. Um, I actually had four copies of this in foil that I just opened and then I sold like three of them to somebody on my old website for like $10 a piece when they were like actually like 25 or $30 a piece and I was like whoops and that's one of the moments that went that made me go huh I really probably need to like review how often I update my prices and like maybe look for a better solution um so yeah then I have the buy a box grave crawlers which are really nice Oh yeah, for sure. Like this binder is just the foils too, right? Like I have I have other binders too that are like more like that have expensive stuff and then just the binders that have uh, other other stuff that's like over a dollar. This is all foils. This binder is all foils. Um Gambles, Subterranean Tremors, Imperial Recruiter, Blood Moons. The uh, promo Birds of Paradise. Foreign Primordial Hydra, I want to say. Crater Hoof Behemoth in foil. Sylvan Library in foil. Noble Hierarch in foil. Deranged Hermit in foil, down there. That's the one. Let's build Drana. Heritage Druid, Reclamation Sage, Sylvan Caryatid. Tarmogoyf in the bottom corner here. Then you've got your your multicolor, right? So you've got the Friday night. Is that the Friday? Yeah, Friday night magic terminate. It's kind of cool. Don't even know where I got that from because I don't. I never really played in Friday night magic and stuff back then. This was an interesting one. I found this in one of my binders from that I put together back when I was like in high school, and this was just in the binder in my seventh edition binder in foil. And I looked up the price and it was like seventy bucks, and I was like, what? I was like, wait a minute. And it wasn't even in a sleeve. It was just in the binder. And I was like, huh. 
Well then. Okay. Sure. And it's because 7th edition is actually white border. So the foils are black. A lot of jank in those binders, Steve. You know it. You know it. Foil Chalice of the Void. Remember when we opened that? This is actually the Foil Chalice of the Void that I opened in the very first pack of Masters 25 that I ever opened. And I opened it on my Masterful Monday series, Series 1, when I added that set to it. And I was like, and I added it in late. So it was like, I was like three weeks behind or something like that. Because I'd already started the series three weeks ago. So that was a fun one. Then you're into like lands and stuff. So like I have like Black Cleave Cliffs, uh, Overgrown Tomb, Bloodstained Myers, and then I have like the Grand Prix lands. These are the these so these Grand Prix lands are the ones that you can get out of the patron pile. Um, I gave one to Carl already. Um, the cool thing about these and the reason these are in this binder is because I'm not going to sell these or get rid of these ones because you can't get the Grand. I mean you can still get the Grand Prix lands. Uh, but you can't get Grand Prix lands. Like, they aren't making new Grand Prix lands. All the new lands say Magic Fest on them. Because Grand Prix is no longer a thing that they call it. Which I thought was pretty cool. Rest in peace, Paradox Engine. Was there a Paradox Engine in there? Yeah, there sure was. Foil. Foil Paradox Engine. R.I.P. R.I.P. Paradox Engine. Arid Mesa, Wastelands, Marsh Flats, Phyrexian Tower... Blink Moth Nexus, Ghost Quarters. And, like, you just got some, like, these are the Rebecca, Rebecca Gay lands that came out of those, um, the Ixalan packs, I think it was. And then a foil Temple Garden. And then these are foil full arts from other things, like, so that's Unstable, I think, or is it Unstable? No, un, Unhinged. The foil Unhinged Planes, which is pretty sweet. I was using this in my draft binder forever. Forever. And one of my buddies was like, why the hell are you playing with that in a draft binder or in a draft box like that you play at game stores? That card is worth like $30, $40 at the time. And I was like, uh, it's a cool land. I like the look of it and it's foil. Why wouldn't I play with it? And he was like, oh my God. And I was like, hmm. He's like, I'll, I'll give you $40 right now to stop playing with it. And I was like, hey, okay. <laughs> I was like, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. And then there. This is where the big money comes in. So, they're not in order, by any means. Um, and I don't have all of them. But I do have a lot. So these are all the expeditions I have. I should probably put them in order. Your buddy got mad at you for playing with the cheese stands alone. <laughs> it sounds like me. So like one of my buddies uh, that I got into Magic a while back, he was playing a deck. Um, I don't even remember where, what he was playing or when it was. It was like probably two, three years ago. And he was he hadn't got into like sleeving his decks and stuff yet, so he's just playing with them unsleeved. And he had a deck that had two Snapcaster Mages and four Spellskites in it. And this was back when Spellskite was like a forty dollar card. And I was like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "What?" And I'm like, "You have like two hundred and fifty dollars worth of cards in that deck, just in those f six cards that are not sleeved. So you're dinging them up, and they're not going to be worth anything." He's like. Oh, I didn't know. And I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. So those are the expos. And then there's the inventions here. This is just like a walk through, uh, you know, the uh, binders. So these ones I've actually put in order and spaced out properly. So these are, you can, all the gaps are what the ones I'm missing. So you can see I'm missing quite a few. But that's because I haven't tried to start collecting them yet. Like, I haven't purchased any uh, singles, right? And by that, I mean, like, I've got a whole bunch of these from Salmon when I bought his collection, because um, he was collecting them. But I didn't, I didn't, I haven't gone out of my way to pick up any singles myself from stores. It, you feel sick just hearing that story? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, Bob. But I took him out to the store and made him buy sleeves. And then, there you go, that's the, the invocations there. And then at the back here, I just have it set up as promos. 
So just these are just all just promo cards at the back here. So like you know things that came from like you know the the vault cards and stuff, or or things that came as buy a box promos or whatever. So there's like the abrades. There's the fatal pushes that uh, Tony sent me, because I didn't get any of these. Tony sent those to me, so thank you, Tony. There they are, right there. See, I still have them. They're still here. Here's the Russian promos that I got from Father Frodo when he came to visit me in Toronto. Um, the heroic intervention is that was the first pre-release I played in since like way back in the day. Um, so I kept it and sleeved it, and it's actually worth money. So that's why I was like, sweet, even better. Um. Here's the Donald Trump card that uh, Rick sent me. <laughs> right, Rick? There it is. The thing I'm really ticked off about, and this is what I don't know what I did. Oh, I know what I've done. So I have a copy of... Is that up here? Is that what I need to look at? Is it this one? Maybe it's in here. I was building some decks way, way back when I first started everything up, and I put I pulled out a whole bunch of cards to put together a, a commander deck. I put together a Karanos deck, like the makings of it, and this was a deck made by um, Father Frodo. He gave me the list, and I started putting it together. Look, there's a Nixos, just not even in a sleeve. It's just, like, was just here, right? <laughs> like... Chandra, Telling Time, Cryptic Command, Counterspell, Stifle, Cyclonic Rift, Ball Lightning, Gospel Gear Hulk. I want to say it's in here. Teferi. There's, I think it's in here. I oh, will have to see. Jace, Tamio, Jace, Sarkin, Dak, Snapcaster Mage in like. A cool foil promo. This is the Judge promo Snapcaster Mage. It's pretty nice. We building Progenitus. This one. I can't remember where I put that. Where did I put that? I don't think it's in here. Is it? No. So I'm really ticked off. I don't know where I put it or where it is, but um. You can see I have the these the cool alt art um, cards from Ixalan, um, and I had two copies of the blue one. What the heck is that card called? My God, my brain! And I sold one or I traded one to MTG Unscrewed because I had two. So I was like, I'll trade you one. That's fine, no big deal. Because I want to keep one for myself, but I'll you know I'll trade one away to you. So I traded it to him. I have no idea what happened to the second copy I had of it. No idea. Don't know where it is. It's probably in a deck somewhere. And I've just... Search for Azkanta. That's the one. It's probably in a deck somewhere, and I just don't know where I put it. And I'm really ticked off about it, because I, I really want it to be in the binder with the other ones. I don't know, just, just part of me, you know? Wants it to be there, but it's not. Put your hand out in front of you and slap it. Right, because the Nykthos isn't in the sleeve. Bad. Bad, Mr. B. Bad. How dare you. How dare you. And then there's these. Yeah, sweet. These are sweet lands. I love these lands. These are absolutely gorgeous. And the sweet tokens. The tokens that don't have power and toughness on them. They're just art. You're dying for a Jace from Moro uh you mean Lorowin? Or Masters? Which J it Which Jace are you talking about, Pause? Cause the Jace from Lorowin is the one that I just showed you, isn't it? That's in here? It's, uh, this, it's, it's 
this Jace? Is it this Jace? No, it's not this Jace. Which Jace is it? It's it's um the one with the hood on, right? The travesty that card now being in his sleeve. Which the Lance or the uh, the Nykthos? Because Nykthos definitely needs to be in his sleeve, especially with friggin' Pioneer now. Now you gotta remember, I put these cards uh, into this pile here. Well, like here, so like. I have all these binders kicking around. This is my Walker binder. Um, specifically Walkers. So, like, there's my Gideons, my Johnnies. Alright, there's your more Gideons, more Johnnies, Elspeths. Here's your Tezzerits, Mind Sculptors, Memory Adept, Vryn's uh, Prodigy. This guy, right? This is the guy you're looking for? It's the hundred dollar one. So you're so you're looking for for this guy, Mind Sculptor. Mind Sculptor is the hundred dollar one. It's from World Wake, not from Lorwyn. Yeah. So the the World Wake one or the Masters one, because it's actually in Eternal Masters and Masters twenty five, and it's also in Lorwyn or not not Lorwyn. It's in World Wake. I actually don't own a copy of it from World Wake, unfortunately. Um, Liliana of the Veil, um, Last Hope, the Chandras from Kaladesh, good old Nissas, Karns, three Karns from Dominaria, one from Masters. Here's your uh, multicolor. I've had to I had to stack them. So there's three Dovins in here, right? And there's like three Do Domries in there. I had to stack them up. Look at all these Nickies. Look at all these Nicky Bs. Too bad they're none of the ones that I actually needed to open, which I never opened. Core 2020? Was it Core 2020? No, Core 2019. That that Nicky B, I never opened it. One of my viewers, Becca, I haven't seen her in a while, but she sent me one, thankfully. And if she hadn't, I wouldn't own it. If she hadn't sent it, I would never I wouldn't even have a copy of it. So I have one copy of that Nikki B from Core 2019. The flip. The flippy B, as I call it. Flippy B. So these are all foil walkers. So foil Domries, foil Jace, foil Johnny. There's also some promo ones here, so like Liliana's Death Majesty with a stamp on it. And then some of the ones from like the dual decks. So like the Tezzeret and the Fencer. This right here. This was one of the moments. This one right here. Let me pull it out. This one is one of those moments. So, like, I I pulled this card out of a, ba a grab bag from Deeriums. Do you remember Deeriums? Does anyone here remember Deeriums? Uh, Deeriums used to do magic cards and used to do grab bags for magic cards and stuff. Um, and they're kind of like where I kind of got the idea for doing my grab bags, except I couldn't do it the way they did it, because they had, you know, they had a big store, and they had a whole bunch of power and stuff, and they were charging, I don't even remember what they were charging for their grab bags, but I think it was, like, ten bucks a grab bag or something like that, but, like, they had, like, the possibility of there being, like, power and stuff in their grab bag, and I was like, how is this even, like, fiscally possible? And it was because their grab bags are, like, they could be really bad, or it could be good. But that Ugin was one of their top pulls from the last grab bag session that they did. And when I opened it, I didn't even know. Because <laughs> I hadn't looked at any of the information that they had put out about what their top hits were out of this grab bag. I had just bought some because I was like, oh, I like grab bags. That's kind of cool. I'll buy some and open them up for the channel. So there's actually a video on this channel where I open up those grab bags and you'll see me open that Ugin and go oh look promo Ugin that's pretty cool and there's actually a little bit of like damage on the bottom of the card and I kind of go oh there's a little bit of damage on the bottom of this card that's kind of that kind of sucks but I guess I mean it's pretty sweet though it's like alt art Ugin pretty nice awesome cool and I just like put it off to the side and then like I had a bunch of people in the comments be like that just casually opens alt art Ugin that's like a hundred and something dollars just puts it on the table beside him leaves it keeps going to the next pack and I'm like well, yeah, I didn't know. I had no idea. At the time, I had no idea that it was worth so much. 
and uh, you know, I wasn't doing my research ahead of time and that kind of stuff. You remember that and you laughed? Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> it's just like, oh look, eh, whatever. It's just Ugin, no big deal. Don't even worry about it. So yeah, it was good stuff. Good stuff. I mean, like I had, it was fun. Yeah, I mean, like Deerium's had like a major falling out with stuff, right? Because like they got, I don't know what happened with them, but they went hard on the Pokemon. They went hard on the Pokemon. They like they just. I think they had a falling out with like the magic crowd in general, or maybe they were doing some some things that were unsavory, and wizards got wind of it and it messed up their distribution of magic stuff. I don't know. I have no idea what happened. I don't know. I don't want to claim to know the backstory. All I know is that they went hard on the Pokemon and never looked back. And the Pokemon was great for them from what I understand or what I saw when they were doing it. Like they, they got like, you know, 10 times the viewership and like their sub count went up like crazy when they first started it. And um, like, if you remember Salmon and Anthony, um, they were opening Pokemon cards and selling the bulk to Deeriums because Deerium was buying the bulk all of the bulk cards. So um, you were able to basically just sell it to them and get cash back. They still do it, I think. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it, I wouldn't wouldn't surprise me if they still are doing the Pokemon stuff, right? So. Hey, Shazad. Um, you know, it's going all right. It's going all right. We're just winding down, I think. We have been we opened up a bundle for uh, Jonathan. Then we uh, gave away some promo packs we gave away some cards from these promo packs. I have uh, 10 things to mail out now uh, to folks. And then we uh, opened up some secret layers to show off, uh, to, to find out what walkers we got. And uh, yeah, I think we're I think we're nearing the end here. Um, but how's your day going? How's your day going? I hope you're having a good day. We're gonna end, we're gonna end the day with this. I'm going to open a single pack of Collector's Booster for Theros because I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it. I haven't opened any of these myself yet. Um, I've watched Booster Tutor open up a box of them. Um, he, he opened up a pack and got an extended art rare and then followed by what's supposed to be your guaranteed foil, rare, or mythic, which could also be extended art, and it wasn't. It was an extended art Uro, but it wasn't foil. And it was like, womp womp. Today you're hosting a Chaos Draft with 18 different packs? That sounds sweet, Ben Smith. I love Chaos Drafting. I love Chaos Sealed Chaos Drafting. It's, it's phenomenal. It's great. Um... That's why I really enjoy Milo. If you guys are unfamiliar with Milo or uh, Milo the Gathering on Twitter, um, he basically does a lot of cube stuff, but he also runs a ton of events in Toronto, like just casually um, with a with a solid group of people, and they do chaos drafts and chaos sealed and all this. Like you know, I don't know how often they do, but they but they running he's running events like almost every week, right? Like. <sighs> Like, crazy. Uh, Shaz uh, Shazad, uh, basically, um, the new set seems interesting to me. It seems good. I'm finding that um, people seem to be going, like, all or nothing. Like, it's an all-in format again, where it's like, you either have the answer to this bomb or you don't. And if you don't have the answer to the bomb, I win. <laughs> right? So, you know how it goes. Um, I had been, I had an opponent in my pre-release who had Nylia and Euro in their deck or Uro in their deck. And in game two, game two, no game one, they, he, he killed me in game one and game one took, I think 30 minutes of our 50 minute round to complete because he almost milled himself trying to kill me. <laughs> like, like, just couldn't quite kill me. And uh, Euro kept drawing him cards when he kept swinging with it. And it was his biggest creature. 
So, like, he had to swing with it to try and get damage in, but he had to keep drawing cards. So he almost killed himself. <laughs> like, like literally, it was his last turn. Like, if he had attacked with Uro, he would have lost because he had no cards in the library. But instead, he was like, I guess I'll just swing with the rest of my team. And I went, that's the smart move, considering I have only two blockers. And he had, like, six creatures on the board, right? And I was like, and I was at like three health. So I was like, just swing with everything except for that and you don't lose. And I was just sitting there. I didn't tell him that. I just was sitting waiting to see if he would do it. And he didn't. And I was like, okay. I was like, all right, you win. <laughs> I was like, you could have killed me like two or three turns ago if you had just swung out with everything else you had. But, you know, I wasn't going to say anything because that's on you, basically. So here you go. That happened to Josh on the newest episode of Game... Wait, that happens to Josh on the newest game of uh, episode of Game Nights? Like, mill? how do you mill yourself out in Commander not purposefully? That sounds bad. That sounds bad. So here we go. This is the Collector's Booster. Collector's Booster of, uh, th uh, of Theros Beyond Death. And... There's basic lands. See? Almost mil almost milled himself. <laughs> Altar of Dementia. Okay, Altar of Dementia. But still, even Altar of Dementia, you can, like, control that. It's like, you, you can stop yourself from milling yourself. But yes. Fair. <laughs> fair. And Mirror mir Mirage. But, I mean, like, you don't have to activate it. That sounds like his own stupid mistake. His altar was duped. Yeah, but <laughs> that's what I mean. It's like, that sounds like his own mistake. Like, uh, like, that's, I mean, doesn't he deserve everything that comes to him then at that point? Yeah, so I mean, like, this is the thing. is like You can get foil basics in this, uh, in these packs, which is kind of weird. Because in the throne packs, they didn't put foil lands in the foil commons and uncommons. They didn't. It didn't exist. Even The, the lands were there. They could have done it, but they didn't. I don't think I opened a single foil land out of those packs at all. So what's up? What's the deal? What? What's the deal? Why? Why? It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to me. I don't know. I mean, I like foil lands. I love foil lands. But like when you buy a premium product, you expect to get cards that are not basic lands. I don't know. That's just me. Meyer's Grasp is a good removal spell. Omen of the Sea is a very good enchantment. I'll take that in foil as well. Absolutely. Sentinel's Eyes, another decent enchantment uh, from Limited as well. Riptide Turtle. And then this... Uh, there you go. Mountain. <laughs> Alright. So those are our six commons, right? That should be it. That should be now uncommons. Okay, uncommons. Banishing Light. Banishing Light's a really good enchantment as well. We're, see we're getting a lot of enchantments, which is not really surprising. This is a premium pack. Yeah, it's a premium pack. You can't get the basic lands like this in normal packs. This is one of the collector's edition packs. So that's why you're getting so many foils. So... Yeah, foil non-full art basics in the collector's... In the... In the sorry... You wanted to get a bundle, but then you saw foil non-full art basics in, in the bundle. And the bundle had to have that normal foil basics instead of a land pack with full art. Yeah. Yeah, so it just doesn't have the foil full arts. Yeah. I see what you mean. Like, so you saw the basics in the collector's boosters and you went, wait a minute. Yeah, and I mean, that's possible. Um, Jonathan, that they that they needed to do something because there was no auxiliary cards to put in. But at the same time, like, I don't think this is the right way, right? Putting the basic lands in here in foil isn't the right way to get around that problem. Okay, so then, now you get your two guaranteed full art foil lands. So here's a nice island, and there's a sweet forest. All right, in foil. Very nice. They both look amazing. Now you get your auxiliary card. So our auxiliary card is Death Bellow War Cry, which is from one of the uh, Planeswalker decks, or it's from one of the 
um, what is that? The the theme boosters. So the theme boosters actually have rares in them that aren't in the set. Just so we're clear. The foil full art lands will tank in price. Absolutely, they will, Rick. They will absolutely tank in price for the next uh, three to four months. Then, when the, the when the collector's boosters have dried up, they will start to climb, guaranteed. So, um, wait for them to crash, then pick them up. Once they've crashed, pick them up, hold on to them. Uh, they'll go up again once they're no longer in print um, or no longer readily available. That card is heap sweet for a Minotaur commander. Uh, I can imagine. Yeah. My buddy liked playing Minotaur Minotaur decks, so this would have been a sweet card for him for sure. So it's an eight mana cost, uh, five and three red. Search your library for up to four Minotaur creature cards with different names and put them onto the battlefield. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Ooh. All right. How about Extended Art Polychronos? I'll take it. That's pretty sweet. It's always nice to get an Extended Art Mythic. Right? Can't complain about that. Also, it's a decent mythic. I really like this mythic. It's a really nice mythic. And what's our foil? Is it extend art as well? It's not. Ooh, and it's just a Storm's Wraith. That's not very exciting, is it? Storm's Wraith is not very exciting. Are there rares in the toolkit? Oh my god. So this is what I mean. It's like the Wizards is trying to figure out ways to like put cards into their other products to make these collectors boosters work. Is that what's happening? Because like the the toolkits and the theme boosters didn't ever have like their own rares. Uncommons, sure. Rares, not so much. Um. Oh, it's not Wraith. Yeah, it's not Wraith. It's Wrath. Storm's Wrath. Yeah, you're correct, Giuseppe. Storm's Wrath. Four damage. All right, so then you get a guaranteed constellation or uh, what they call it. What is this? The um, the showcase art, right? The showcase art. So you get a guaranteed showcase art in each of these packs. But you also get a guaranteed foil showcase art in each of these packs, which will be after this one. And it can be anything. It can be an uncommon or a rare or a mythic or whatever. I think is there even any rares? I don't think there are rares, right? It's only the uncommons and the mythics. Is that it? That's the only thing you can get, right? Because it's only the gods and the demigods. Right? So do we get an uncommon or do we get a mythic? That's the question, right? So you look at the bottom, right? We got an uncommon, unfortunately. But it's Daxos. And foil Daxos is like a couple bucks. I mean it's probably come down a bit, but it's still one of the better uncommons to get in foil in the uh, in the showcase art. And then you got your token, which is a human soldier. Oh, yeah, we got the goat. Foil goat. Sweet. The, f the pull rate for mythics in this is way too high. Your showcase was better. This is this is true, Jonathan. Your showcase card was better. That is accurate. You got a perforos. Um, so, I mean, like, this pack was, like, mediocre, right? This pack was definitely mediocre. The Daxos is not bad. The Polychronos is pretty sweet. Um, the foils that we got are, like, middle of the road. Um, the Mythic rate in these boxes, Bob, seems to be about uh, 5 to 6 per box, is what it seems like. Per box. So that's in 36 packs, so then you're talking, like, 1 every uh, 6 to 7 packs, right? Somewhere in that range. One, 1 in every 6 to 7 booster packs has a Mythic approximately is what i'm seeing on average um one half are you talking about in the collector's boosters giuseppe the pull rate for mythics in this is way too high yeah you're talking about in in the uh in the collector's boosters six twelves six and twelve yeah, in the collector's boosters, yeah. Yeah. In the collector's boosters for sure, right? Because the thing is, is like, you got to remember too, right? In this, in these packs, the interesting thing about these packs is that because you're guaranteed two of these in each pack, and the only 
cards that are in this format, in this set, are either an uncommon or a mythic. And there's only five of each. There's five uncommons and five mythics, one for each color, right? Or no, do you have the you have the dual color one as well, right? Uh, so is there a god in every color plus the dual color god in mythic? There is, right? Is there a dual color mythic? Is there eight mythics that are in the gods? There must be, right? Hold on, I have to go look this up now. Hold on a second. Uh, price lists. Theros. Oh, because you can also get the... Oh, no, but not in... Uh, can you get those in this slot? I don't know if you can get those in this slot. Where do you get the um, the Full Art Planeswalkers? Exactly, Giuseppe. That's what I'm thinking. Where do you get the Full Art Planeswalkers? Are they in this slot or are they in the other slot? You can get them in this slot? Oh, my God. Holy moly. Yeah, so you've got... Okay, so you can't get the Titans. You can't get the Titans in this slot, right? So Uro, no. Uh, Nixborn, Ancient, no. Uh, Kroxa, no. Elspeth, maybe. Huh. Let me just see the Mythics here. No Ox... No Polychronos. Okay, so you can get Elspeth. You can get Calyx. You can get Nylia. You can get Perforos. You can get Erebos. You can get Clothis. You can get Ashiok. You can get Fassa. You can get Heliod. So nine. So there are nine mythics that you could get in this slot at the end, these two slots at the end, in the first slot. Okay, so in the non-foil. So in the non-foil slot, there's nine mythics that could occur in this slot and only five uncommons. What? <laughs> what, the, what the heck is that? So that's like almost, so like, if we're, if we're saying this, like, I haven't seen enough of these packs opened, and I haven't opened enough myself, but if that's the case, does that mean that you're guaranteed, like, one Mythic per pack, almost? Like, if you were to open 12 out of a box, right? If you were to open 12 out of a box, like, 12 packs out of one box, right, would you average out at least one Mythic per pack? Easily, right? Probably even two. Almost two mythics per pack. Because there's going to be some packs where you get like three mythics. Like the Throne of Eldraine ones where you could get five mythics in those packs. Uh, if you got super lucky. Right? Rudy opened 19 out of two boxes. So that's 10. It's like approximately 10 per, per box. So that's that's just under one per pack. Huh. So that's even that's still low though. Like one per pack is still low. Like Throne of Eldraine's average was like about one per pack, possibly two per pack, right? And per box you were getting about the same, probably about ten, maybe more, depending. Because there were five slots in the Throne of Eldraine packs. Rudy pulled twenty mythics out of twenty-four packs. But that's different numbers. 19 out of 2 boxes is 24 packs. 20 out of 24 packs. Oh, it's, clo it's close. It's close. It's close, though. Like, pulling 20 Mythics out of 24 packs is basically the same as 19 out of 2 boxes. It's 10, it's 10 per box. Right? Because it's 12 packs in a box. So it's 10 Mythics per pack. It's about the same. That's what we were talking about. Pause. Yeah, so there's no, no bad on your part. Nice, Rick. That's sweet. The full art Calyx. Nice. Sounds like you've got some pretty good luck going on there, Rick. You need to go buy a lottery ticket, man. <laughs> yeah. This is the thing. It's like the, the 
throne, the reason you had a chance at five mythics per that per pack in the in the throne one is because in the auxiliary card you could get a mythic if you hit one of the brawl commanders because they were mythic, right? Whereas this doesn't have that. Although I guess you could hit the planeswalker, or you could hit Athreos, right, in that auxiliary slot, which is technically a mythic. So you could hit a mythic in this slot still. It's just lower chance. There's less mythics to hit in this auxiliary slot. Or ancil ancil ancillary slot, or whatever the hell they call it. Interesting. It's interesting stuff. It's really, it's really interesting. I don't know. Anyway. That's going to be it for me tonight, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I got to go get dinner now. It's time for dinner. I can hear. I can hear. I know. I know it's almost time for dinner. Because I can hear the music in the kitchen. And I can hear the pots going, playing, playing, playing. So, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you have a wonderful evening and a weekend. And enjoy your time. Thank you so much again to all of my patrons. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for supporting me. And, uh, you know, all of you fine people out there that watch and hang out, thank you so much. Enjoy release weekend. Have yourselves a wonderful time. And as always, may your bulls ever be better. <laughs>